returns been? First, we'll start with the repair order. Uh, we didn't sell the brake package, but we already have the parts, they're already outside purchased. So we're gonna delete this package, add the sub estimate, and then there's the note, sending this item to the return file, which would be the uh, pads, the rotors, and the brake hardware in this case. Okay, and there it goes. And we just save it, it puts our estimate on the return file, and all the parts in the return bin. Now, when we have a part picked up from the vendor, in this case it was Napa, we get a handwritten return slip. The number in the top right hand corner is the number that we're going to input into return product to vendor there on the top left hand part of the screen, the options menu. We're going to select our vendor, put in the return slip ID, it's like a tracking number for the returns, and we're going to select the parts that were returned to the vendor today, which would be brake hardware, brake rotors, and the brake pads. Post to returns. Okay. You can print this and add it to your, marry it to your uh, handwritten return slip. If it's not unlegible, I'd recommend definitely doing that. Or if it's incomplete, let's say for example, we didn't get all the parts in the return file, we can marry that to it to make sure we do still get credit for the parts that were in the return file, as well as the ones that were handwritten without being processed through the POS. And that's it, we're done.